and welcome to the Big Scoop Review. Right, as you know, I filmed like three episodes in like one day. And as you can tell, I've changed shirt for every single one of them. So you don't realise that I filmed them all in one day. But yeah, every single episode, I've told you that I filmed them all in one day. Which is an epic fail. And I realised that just after I filmed the second one, which was the Novo Protein Bites. Um, fail. Right. Yesterday, I received a package. This package contained two boxes of Quest protein bars. Two flavours I haven't tried, one of which I'm trying now. I was going to leave it a while, but that would involve waiting to eat it. And I couldn't do that. I try and eat only one protein bar a day because of um, they contain a lot of water and salt and sometimes it help, makes you retain water so I just try and have one a day. There's no point going crazy because I'd rather get my protein from proper food sources. Um, I'm just going to say now that I don't eat like just because I have lots of protein around doesn't mean I'm constantly just eating protein food to make sure you're trying to eat chicken, meat and stuff like that. Um, so anyway, I'm trying today the white chocolate raspberry. I mean... I'm excited about this. So I got these sent to me um, from Quest, um, which is very, very kind of them. Um, so I just can't move this, that's my stand. Um, so, important thing about Quest bars, gluten-free. Uh, this one, 14 grams of fiber, um, two grams of sugar, and six grams of net carbs and 20 grams of protein. Best nutritional value of any protein bar on the market, um, without a doubt. Um, it's just really, really, really good. Calories per this bar, 200. Total fat is nine, uh, saturated 2.5. I'll put a close up of the back of the pack on the uh, screen for you. Uh, just so I'll go over it. Uh, total carbs, 21 grams. Dietary fiber, 14 grams. Sugars, 2. Uh, erythritol, uh, 1 gram. And protein, 20. Um, normally, uh, I get mine from Muscle Foods. Uh, yes, I use Muscle Foods a lot. Been over this before. Um, which is why I'm just going to say, uh, normally on there, one pound ninety one per serving. I think a previous uh, episode uh, for the S'mores bar, I said £2.20 per serving. That was wrong. It's one pound ninety one per serving. Um, so I think I gave that a three out of five. Um, so obviously I'm going to give it this time a four out of five to uh, recreate to recreate that mistake. Pretty much the cost of most protein bars you get if you just pop into town and grab one, um, which is good, fantastic. So yeah, four out of five. Nutrition five out of five. It is the best nutritional protein bar you can get on the market at the moment. Um, there's nothing beating it, there's nothing contending with it. So I'm just going to literally rip this open because literally I'm talking so fast so I want to try it. So I'm just going to... Remember last time we uh, did a, a review for a quest bar, I failed opening it. Today I have not. And I really, really... It smells amazing. Um, I really, really like white chocolate. Absolutely love it. Um, and like white chocolate and raspberry cookies and stuff like that. And I find it quite difficult to find a white chocolate that tastes good in a supplement form. Um, I've got the My Protein White Chocolate at the moment, which just, just too sweet. I like white chocolate, but I don't like it too sweet. I'm just gonna. One thing I've never done with the Quest Bar is I haven't baked them yet. I've heard that they're really good baked. Um, I feel like I should probably do that one day. Probably with these ones, because... My God. It's a moment of silence, I think. Mm -hmm. 
Let's put that down. We're going to enjoy it in a minute. That's incredible. Um, something that's just beaten the cookies and cream crest bar, which I haven't even reviewed yet, but it's beaten it. So if the cookies and cream one gets a better score than that, then something's gone wrong because that's amazing. It's really, really good. Right, um, taste five out of five, doubt, without a doubt. Fantastic. Protein on the go, four out of five. Really good, fit in your bag, have it whenever you want. Great mix of carbs, perfect for an active day. Um, really good nutritional values on it, obviously, as I already said. Um, overall, it's literally like on the border of four and five, four and five, four and five, four and five. Um, so I'm going to give it, I'm going to have to do it, I'm going to have to give it a, four, a five out of five. That is insanely good. Definitely one of the best protein bars I've tasted so far. And luckily I have a whole box of them left. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab one. This is where all my protein bars are kept, massive storage of them. All right, here we have white chocolate and raspberry. This here is a giveaway box. And this is everything that I'm giving away in the beginning of September when you um, share this video. So that's going in there and that is sold sealed that is going to whoever wins this competition at the beginning of september all you have to do to do that to win that is to like this video and to share it that's all you have to do um, i will try to post anywhere in the world um it could be a challenge i don't know yet i haven't actually researched that bit probably should have done um so yeah this has been the big scoop review watching it on youtube on the big scoop review um and then again on twitter big scoop review um instagram big scoop reviewer the big scoop reviewer sorry and facebook big scoop the big scoop review um just follow us as much as you can um i do promise there's gonna be quite a lot of videos coming out over the coming month um i've got 40 three things to review without including the stuff that's arriving tomorrow um so i've got a hell of a lot of stuff to review um which is going to keep me massively busy and yeah i'm really looking forward to the coming month um i'm going to grab this quest bar um i'm going to say goodbye how pleasant day it's my last review for the day that i'm filming thank god um I'm going to make some lunch.